Hello my peeps, welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to be talking about how to do the a DIY floral clothing line. Not clothing, but like a, well, like a your, how to do your DIY floral line using any kind of picture that you wish, any type of shape, size, or what have you. I got everything I needed from Dollar Tree. These here are pictures that I've already had before. I'm going to do a photo line, a hanging photo line, if you will, for my uh, best friend of mine that is getting married. And I just want to do like a little photo line for her. You can get everything here from Dollar Tree for $1.25 US dollar. Most Dollar Trees already have the packet, but I think it, it comes in and um, they have the 10, they have the 15, and they, have, they even have the 20 photo. But the catch is though, if you get that one there, you have to be mindful that it's only gonna come in one size, which is to typically four by six. So if you have smaller photos or, or, or bigger photos, it's not gonna fit in the picture, it's not gonna fit in the holder that it comes in, then you're stuck with only dealing with one, dealing with one size photo. But if you get your own, this is a little bit more because you have to get your own clothes pin. This one has 50 pieces and you also have to get your own um, of the natural jute cord. Um, and it take, it's going to take a little bit more work, but you can get it done and it can be really, really nice. So like I said, all you're going to need is these Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. Um, any scissors that can cut the jute cord. And then a glue if you like, because if anything, you, you don't even need glue. You can just, you can go ahead and just tie the end of the rope. So, um, let's see how this turns out. Okay, first I'm going to go ahead and dump them. I'm going to measure the cork, something that goes, that's going to go all the way around. And then I'm going to double it. Because with me doubling it, at least I have, has, a, has a firmer hold when I put the clothespins pins on. Let's see how this turns out. So far, this is how it's looking. Okay, my dears, this is what it's looking like thus far. For horizontal photos, I went ahead and I put three. For vertical, you could go ahead and leave them as two. Why? Because if it's vertical, especially if it's an outdoor event, you don't want it to blow in and blow off because mind you, these clothespins are pretty, pretty tiny. Look at how small they are. So um, to go ahead and hang this up, I went ahead and I have a long enough cord where I'm gonna have to go ahead and tie it into, and it's going to look like this. That way it's easier to hang it. If I'm gonna tie it or whatever it is I'm gonna do, let's go ahead and tie it into. When I, like I said, this is another reason, this is another reason why I doubled the yarn. Why? Because I have so much I know was that we use all of it anyway. And so I said, okay, well, if I would have it doubled, it's easier for me to type for, for wherever it is I'm going to hang it. So that's what that looks like right there. And so I'm going to go ahead and do the other side and let's see how this turns out. And my ladies and gents, here you guys have it. This is not where I'm going to put it, but this is just to show you guys how it came out looking. See a nice firm hold. And like I said, I tied it at the end with this in a rope just for the extra secure hold. And you guys don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank you for watching.